Welcome to the Wine Decoded Bathtub Winemaking Project for Vintage 2016. Behind us here you can see the bathtub Shiraz and barrel and a little bit in tank. Uh, it's about six months since we picked the grapes and I thought it was time that we talked about what's happening now with the wine, how it's maturing and the impact of these different vessels, these three barrels and the tank on the wine. So here we go. What have we got here? We've got three French oak barrels. We've got a very old one, we've got a one-year-old one, and a new one. So each of these different barrels is going to impact the wine in a different way. The newer barrel is going to impart the most oak aroma, oak flavour, and oak tannin. As the barrels get older, they'll impart less oak flavour, oak aroma, and oak tannin. To the point where this very old barrel up the top here will actually be imparting no oak aroma, flavour or tannin. They're also going to allow the very gentle oxidation of the wine. Wine barrels are by nature porous. The timber they're made of will allow little bits of oxygen in and little bits of wine to evaporate out. So we lose about 3 to 5 percent of the wine every year just through evaporation. The impact of the oxygen going into the wine helps develop the fruit. It goes from being quite raw and primary to being much more interesting, having much more harmonious aroma and flavour. The texture and the tannin in the wine tends to soften a little bit as the oxygen helps little tannin molecules join together to become bigger ones that feel softer in your mouth. So there's a lot going on in these different barrels. This stainless steel tank, by contrast, won't allow any oxygen in or any wine to evaporate out. So it's going to be looking more youthful than these barrels. And we have to bear that in mind that there's a difference between the barrels and the tank. We've got oak aroma and flavour being imparted. We've got oak tannin being imparted. We've got the impacts of oxidation in the barrels. In a tank, that's not happening. So one thing that we're doing all the time is tasting each of these vessels and working out what's going on. How does the new barrel look? How does the one-year-old barrel look? How does the old barrel look and taste? How does this tank taste? So is something becoming a little bit out of balance? Are we getting too much oak aroma and flavour coming through in the new barrel? But most importantly, we actually have to taste it as a blend. So we have to take a little bit about out of each vessel, blend it together in a glass and say, well, hang on, that's what the final wine's going to look like. Is it looking okay? If that wine's looking like it's getting too oaky, we've got an option, for example, to swap a new barrel for an old barrel to make sure that no further oak aroma, flavour or tannin is being imparted into the wine. So in addition to all of that, we've got a fact that these new barrels are made by different coopers. So those different coopers or barrel makers will use different trees from different forests. They'll handle the wood in a different way. They'll make their barrel in a different way. They'll toast the barrel, a process where the inside of the barrel is actually toasted just like a piece of toast using a pot of fire. And all of that will mean that those barrels will have different characteristics as well. The great thing about this is that each of these different vessels allow us to start to layer in different flavours and aromas. They allow us to start to bring the wine together from being a raw juvenile wine to a much more together and harmonious wine, particularly with that gentle oxidation that's occurring. So there you have it. We've got a whole lot of different things happening here at the moment. The wine's resting, maturing, and we're slowly developing it with these different oak barrels and the tank and it's it's all looking yeah really good thanks for joining us on wine decoded next time we're going to be talking about how we clarify the wine through a process of natural sedimentation and we're also going to be talking about the process of racking which is essentially just decanting big barrels so join us then uh, look forward to hearing any comments that you might have any questions you might have so drop us a line and uh, and we'll catch up soon cheers from paul at wine decoded